Hey baddies, I have been doing some much needed but not needed sneaker shopping and I picked up the new Travis Scott Olives. They have been driving the internet crazy and they actually have the sneakerhead boys a little bit upset. The reason is why, like why is that? I'm gonna tell you. But if you have the weight of if the Travis Scott Olive is worth it on your shoulders, you've not only come to the right place because I have came saw and conquered checking out on this extravagant sneaker shopping cart let's just say i'll be your sacrificial lamb to give you insight on this sneaker and what it's really like holding a pair the question is was this cop worth it unbox the pair with me let's go over my history with this collaboration every single detail about this pair and you can decide if this is a go for you if this is something that you're interested in hello travis scott stay tuned i want to let you know that you don't have to go don't wonder no more what i think hey, about Brad, man, go you win. if it's something that you want that you should make me your girl your girl if it's something that you need Baby, come and share my world. Share my world. Oh, oh, oh. If it's something that you want, come and take a walk with me. With me. Cause everything that you need, I got it right here, baby. Baby. Now it's obvious you need a friend to come hold you down. Be that one to share your everything. And no one's around. Baby, come tell me your secrets and tell me. Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley Tamara. Be sure that you're hitting the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and that like button if you're into the content that I am posting today. Before we get started, let me just give you a little bit of rundown who I am and what it is that I do. Again, my name is Ashley. I'm actually the owner and writer for a website called eatandbougie.com. Eat and Bougie is a platform designated to showcase fashion, food, and fierceness. Here you're going to get all types of outfit inspiration, really good food suggestions, and everything in between. In turn, I call the life we live the bad babe lifestyle, aka the BBL. Be sure that you are locked in to keep up. So enough about me, let's go ahead and get into today's topic, which is the Travis Scott Olive. But before we talk about this particular pair, let's just talk a little bit about the history between Travis Scott, excuse me, Travis Scott and the Nike brand. So they started a budding relationship back in 2017 and he has been dropping fire on top of fire, y'all. From Cactus Jack Jordan 4s to the Air Force 1s, he has literally kept us on our toes with dope designs and crazy colorways i will though be the first to admit although i admired all of the drops i never had the desire to buy a pair that is until he started dropping the jordan one low when those concepts showed up on the internet i think like the first pair was the mochas my eyebrows was raised like i was like wait what <laughs> so by the time he dropped the fragment design I was at full attention and I absolutely just needed a pair. So everybody knows if you're into sneakers, getting a pair of any shoes from the sneaker app retail price is nearly impossible. So put that on top of trying to secure a pair of Travis Scott's, it's nearly non-existent. In fact, the Travis Scott brand broke a sneakers app record of 3.8 million entries made for the reverse mocha on the sneakers app. This actually broke a record for the most member entries ever. So if you lucked up and got that particular pair of shoes, you, baby, you lucked up and me and millions of other sneaker heads envy you. Why is that? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because other than the fact that you got these dope ass shoes for just $150 plus tax shipping all that, they now retail for over a thousand dollars in the aftermarket sneaker world. So unfortunately for me, I missed every single one of the Jordan 1 low drops and I have not had the guts or the desire to check out at that insane price tag. They are on the wish list, but I have just not had the guts to check out. I'm just not ready to spend that much on a pair of Nikes. But anyway, fast forward to the Travis Scott Olive. The first time I saw these were on a Hype Bay post 
and it's not unheard of for Hype Bay to show concept sneakers. So in my head, I felt like this was just the case. But I did say if these boys dropped, I was getting them. I did not care. Let me show y'all. I did not care. Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> Sit down. I did not care how much they cost, baby. I was not missing these. And I am a woman of my word, baby. As you can see, I did not miss this drop. So these were actually released April 23rd, 2023. This is actually the first pair of Travis Scott's release exclusive to women's sizing only. So, oh baby, the boys are a little bit upset. Although they can be found in larger sizes, I would totally question the integrity of the shoe. And let's not forget the larger the shoe, the higher the cost. So long story short, the boys sneaker heads are not happy with this drop at all. But girls, that's a them problem and not a our problem, okay? We a, we we got them, sis. No problem. You're going to pay, but you can get them. So let's go ahead and officially unbox these and determine if they are really worth the hype. Today's description is brought to you by Feature.com. The box came in a shiny off-white color with green Nike lettering. Inside, the shoes are snuggled with the infamous Cactus Jack paper, but it's in pink. This premium sneaker features an upper that combines a black suede base, off-white leather overlays, and olive suede swooshes. A reverse swoosh resides at the lateral while a traditional one can be found on the other side. Crimson accents contrast neutral earth tones while a woven Nike Air Tongue label can be found. Mismatched Jordan brand and Cactus Jack branding is embroidered within each heel tab. The off-white vintage midsole treatment and rubber outsole finish the rest of the design. They came with four wax shoestrings in white, black, olive, and red. I purchased this pair after the drop from GOAT for about $585. I ain't gonna lie, I had to secure them at this price solely because I truly did not know if they were gonna have that crazy spike you know over a thousand dollars now granted five hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers is a pretty steep purchase however i kept my promise and i was going to get these shoes this to have seen these on the internet and be in awe versus holding a pair in my hand it is a total different experience these in my opinion were worth every single penny now as far as the comfort level of these i'm not a hundred percent sure because as you can see I have still not worn these. I literally got these probably like a week after the drop. So I have not even had, I have not had, um, I just haven't been inspired to wear them yet. And I kind of wanted to show these to you guys first before I actually started wearing them. Um, so I will say I am not the biggest fan of Jordans anymore solely because they're not the most comfortable shoe. I don't know how these are going to work out, but I will be sure to give an update in the description once I've actually worn them. I can let you know how comfortable they are. Um, it is no secret that New Balance and Yeezy have the more comfortable shoes, which is kind of why I stopped wearing Jordans. But come on, y'all. Come on. I could not. I don't care if I'm li I don't care if these are sit down shoe. They look good. These look good. And I was getting them, and now that I have these, I am totally inspired to go ahead and secure my purchase um, for the reverse mochas as well as the fragments, only because those are really high up on my sneaker list. Um, <laughs> just like an inside joke, I have not bought any Nikes this year because it was like a little joke between me and my sneakerhead friends that I was not buying any until I got the reverse mocha. But when these came out, it was just like a no brainer specifically because they have all of the green in it. Like green is my absolute favorite color. So I just know that I'm gonna make these do what it do. So be sure that you guys stay or stay tuned. And also drop me some comments if you do want to see a video exclusive to um, me styling these babies with, you know, everyday wear, hooking it up for y'all. So let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see. I have not one regret about my purchase and I cannot wait to style these. So to answer your question, if these are worth it, my answer is 100%, absolutely, positively, 
without a doubt yes so that's actually going to be everything for today baddies thank you so much for watching be sure that you are keeping up with the bad babe lifestyle by following me at eat and bougie on tiktok instagram pinterest and facebook be sure that you are liking and subscribing and turning on those notifications so you know every time your girl makes a new post you know what i'm saying keep up with these video drops leave me some comments let me know what you think about today's content i love you guys so 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 much until next video bye